Greetings viewers, I've had several requests to showcase my army, so as you can see, here my Tyranids are in front of you. A lot of the stuff remains unfinished, as I've mentioned previously, I get distracted very easily. And also I've had several issues where certain models may have become uh, outdated due to the updated edition or codex, and I just kind of lost track of them and moved on to something that might work a little bit better. So I'll give you a little bit more detailed view of all the, uh, the units you see here in front of you. We'll start from uh, over here. We've got uh, on the ends I have six hive guard and two groups of two. Obviously only two of them are completed painting. Completed stages of painting. I've got six warriors here. The one here on the far right with the lash whip and bone sword I use as my Tyranid Prime. I've got the uh, two Turvagons that you should be very well familiar with from my videos. We've got a magnetized Hive Tyrant slash Swarm Lord with his four bone swords. Almost finished, he still just needs highlighting done. And then we've got the three uh, Tyrant Guard here. Two of them are magnetized to accept Lash Whips. I have to uh, fix that third one there that's painted. Got to figure out how to do it without destroying the paint job. We've got a magnetized Wing Hive Tyrant here. Um, his arms, all four sockets including the wings are magnetized to come off. Right now I have some modified uh, Twin Link Devourers on there. I have two Tyranifexes here. The one on the left, I'm almost done with the conversion here. I want the guns to actually come out of the back because I just thought it looked silly with them carrying it like a regular gun. So this one on the right here is going to look just about identical to it when I'm finished, whenever that is. I've got my four Biovores here. This one in the far bottom right here you can see is uh, the one where I cast the arm for you in the previous video, he blends right in with the others, almost not even noticeable. Got all my spore mines here, only one of them was painted so far as my test subject. Got a Trigon here. Two Carnifexes that originally were my Turvagon conversions until the uh, actual models came out, so there was no need to go ahead and finish painting them. I don't really use Carnifexes too often, so we'll see if those actually ever get done or not. I've got two Venomthropes here. I've got three Zoanthropes. The one in the center has a little bit of extra spiky bits on his head there. Um, he gets, can be used as a Doom of Malentai if I so choose to bring that unit. You can see I've got all my gargoyles here. There's 20 of them. Got all my Hormagaunts, almost all finished. I've got a couple that need highlighting and then several that are only primed. And there are all my Termagaunts there, several stages. I've got the 12 of them there with the uh, Devourers. All the rest of them are basic with flesh borders. Only a couple left to go on that before they're finished painting. Some of them are only base coated and four of them are just primed. These two wooden eggs back here are going to eventually be converted into spore pods. The one there on the left already has a magnet on the top for different weapon options. Then it's on a base, so I just have to catch the other one up to that point before I can set up. Back here behind the gargoyles, I have three brood lords in front of the swarm of gene stealers. Originally, I had an army designed around nothing but gene stealers, but then again, sixth edition came along and kind of made them obsolete so that's why that large chunk back there is still uh, not even primed and then I also still have eight of them that are on the sprue so there's uh, quite the swarm of gene stealers that could be we'll see if the Tyranid Codex gets updated anytime soon and perhaps they'll uh, make a comeback so again there's my uh, my high fleet for you guys hope you enjoyed this video please stay tuned for future videos thank you